Let's talk about the autonomous alert log. Namely, when you're in an environment where you generally don't have operating system access, but you're a DBA that historically has been data mining the alert log, how do we sort of resolve that conflict? And so here's the question that came in. Uh, we're developers and we've built some new databases on autonomous, but our DBAs tell us they can't support us because they can't see the alert log. Is that really a deal breaker? And in the generic sense, I would argue that not being able to see an alert log isn't an issue because for two reasons. <laughs> Number one is, hello, it's an autonomous database. The reason you sign up for an autonomous database is that someone else has to manage that system for you. That's the objective of autonomous. And especially for developers, that's a very appetizing thing to simply say, I can spool up a database with a few clicks and someone else has, had to, you know, has to manage all the complexity behind it. I just have to build uh, database objects and write code. So I understand developers' appeal for using autonomous. If you're in an IT organization which has developers and DBAs, then DBAs you know, might have a vested interest in the fact that you're running databases, even if they're on the cloud. And so you can understand their concerns as well. But the first one is generally, you know, if you can forget about the alert log and make it someone else's problem, that's a good place to be. The second thing that's worth noting that even on cloud managed systems such as autonomous is the alert log is actually there and you can still access it. And in fact, you can access it in actually more impressive ways than you could if you had operating system access. Well, let's explore with a demo. So I'm doing this on my local machine, but the same applies on any of our cloud databases. The first thing we go looking for is, is there a V dollar view that lets me see the alert log? And the first place I look obviously is V dollar diag info, which normally gives me all the default information. And it tells me all the directories, et cetera, but nothing there stands out as being a pointer to the actual alert log. I've got the trace file, but I haven't got the alert log in any way, shape or form. If I go look at V dollar fixed view definition, which lists all the V dollar views in the database for things that have the word diag in them, I've got diag trace file, app trace file, trace file contents, et cetera, but nothing there that suggests I've got the alert log, which is a bit disappointing. If I go look in V dollar fixed view definition, there's nothing that has the word alert in it that's in the diags sort of infrastructure. So at that point, you might be thinking, well, maybe there's no access to the alert log. Interestingly, if I go look at DBA objects for things that start with V dollar diag, I get a lot more stuff. It's worthy of note that the concept of a V dollar view being a virtual table based on something in memory has become a much more loose definition as the database has evolved. A lot of these V dollar views are actually pointers to things on flat files. They're like external tables. And as a result, V dollar fixed view definition is actually just those things which are genuine virtual tables pointing to memory structures or things like the control file. Now, there's a lot more scope for what constitutes a V dollar view. Out of those 107 rows, if I go looking for ones that have the word alert, I have V dollar diag alert X for external table. And yes, that is a view of the alert log you can get via SQL. So if I describe it, one of the cool things here is unlike what we would have to do if you had to uh, dig into the operating system layer is the alert log, you don't have to parse. You have to go work out what rows are the timestamps, what rows are this. The way this works is it's not looking at the, v uh, the alert log text file on your database. It's looking at the alternate directory, which is the alert log XML structures, which are obviously well formatted, and therefore it can turn that using XML table commands into columns and rows in the database. So we can query it. This is the alert log on my machine here. And I've simply grabbed, I think if I scroll back a bit, I've got like, yeah, just for the last 24 hours. And you can see effectively, you know, what's been going on on this version 19 database running on this Windows machine. And I, you know, the good thing is because it's all columns and stuff, I can add where clauses and predicates, et cetera. It's much easier to actually data mine this alert log than it would be if I was a DBA digging around in the operating system. One of the good things, especially because it's a relational structure, is I now have the ability to dig into certain elements. I'm connected to a pluggable database. That pluggable database is container number three. It's PDB1 on this laptop here. And when I query, the alert log, which is a single file that sits across the entire database, I only get entries in here for my container. So I'm not breaching any security rules here. And you know, even if I wanted to, I, I can't. But the other benefit is I'm not going to see information in here that doesn't pertain to this particular pluggable database, much easier than at the operating system layer. 
If I connect to sysdba, so now I'm connected to the container, the root container. If I do this, you can see I actually get the alert log information for all the pluggables. And in fact, this machine currently only has pluggables PDB1 and PDB2, AppCom1, AppPDB1, et cetera, is stuff that I've had in the past that has, I've since dropped. But the alert log still contains the information and therefore I can still see it from the root. If I do a query for con ID and container name from the root, I can see I have 55,000 entries for PDB1, which is the one I spend most of my life in, and just a few for CDB dollar root. What's in my alert log on this machine? You can see I've got alert log entries going back all the way to 12th of August 9, 2021, which shows you how diligent I am about cleaning up my alert log on this machine. So if I'm running a cloud database, then that duration is managed not by you, it's managed by the people running that cloud database on Autonomous. So let me just fire up a new share, which shows you my Autonomous system. Okay, what's the minimum entry in the alert log on ATP? And 7th of September. Now, given that today is the 15th of September, I think we can reasonably safely assume that we have about a one week duration on the alert log on your autonomous database. Typically, we expect about a week on the autonomous database for the alert log duration. And the question that is, well, what if I want to see more? What if I have existing scripts that used to look through six months of data for you know, trends, etc.? Well, because it's now a table, it's really easy to manage that. I simply do a create table local alert, a select star from the alert log external, and now I have a local relational copy of my alert log. If I look at that, I've got from 12th of August to 15th of September, 9.30 p.m. Now let's put some entries in my alert log. So I'll create a table space, I'll drop a table space. That's an easy way of getting some stuff in my alert log. And this is all I have to do every day is add to my local alert table, everything from the alert log where the originating timestamp is greater than the most recent thing I currently already had. It simply goes and gets everything since the last time I refreshed it. And now if I run that same query as before, if we go down here, we can see we've got stuff from 942 now, which are those commands. I created the table space, I dropped the table space, et cetera. Even though you've only got a week's worth of alert log on the autonomous database, the fact that it's easily accessible via a query and the fact that you can simply augment your own local copy for as long as you want, uh, there's really no restrictions. You could have the alert log forever simply by appending to it as you go. So nice and easy to do.